Oh. oh my gosh. Good morning, everyone. April 16, Thursday. Gotta grab this letter. Because Julie, hello, Julie. Julie is asking me how much is that railroad red, red light sign. And I can't remember. So I gotta climb up there. She's asking about that sign. I had two of them, one sold a while ago, and this one has been here for a while. It's a big one too. Julie, I'm asking $125 for this one. And it's got that hood sticking out, probably about a foot and a half. And I bet you it's about 24 inches in diameter. So it's a big one. Uh, shoot me your uh, address so I can figure out the shipping if you're interested. Then Julie is also asking about this Union Pacific sign. A little guy. Nice thick sign. Um, but it's definitely a repop. This is something newer. That one I'm asking $25 for. And check that out. Right between those two, we got Tiger Woods and MJ playing golf. This is May 2nd, 2007 at the Quail Hello Course in Charlotte, North Carolina. Over 10,000 fans cheer this historic pairing. Pretty cool. <laughs> look, at, look at MJ smoking that cigar. And I'm asking uh, 85 bucks for that picture. Pretty cool picture. That would fit in somebody's man cave for sure. All right, let's go pack some items. Pretty good day yesterday. We got over 30 orders going out today. So eBay, uh, eBay is still... What's wrong with this? Sorry. eBay is still strong. eBay is still moving stuff. So can't complain about that. But I can't... Oh my gosh, I can't wait till we open the store again because it's just, I'm telling you, going nuts. I'm going nuts sitting at home. I mean, me and Adrian are switching every couple days and things like that, but still, I'm tired of this BS. So, uh, I got a few things ready for you guys to see. Let's go over this stuff. All right, let's roll this puppy. Wow, what are you, see what she did? She's grabbing, she's sticking his paws again here. She grabbed my sweatshirt here earlier. First time I'm wearing this sweatshirt. And she pulled the string and destroyed my sweatshirt. And it went like, bling! Yeah, you. All right, so first, what do we got first? First, I want to talk about this item. As you guys seen me discussing with Vicky how much to list this for. This, uh, this bayonet from World War II. She listed this two days ago and it sold yesterday. For 400 bucks with 13, $13 shipping, I'm ecstatic. I'm very happy to move this piece for that kind of money. Uh, there were quite a few out there that were listed for more, five, six hundred dollars. I think that was, uh, that was too much. 400 bucks, uh, it's a good price. I originally had this actually listed in the shop for uh for 250 but you know always online on ebay we can get more money than we can get in a shop so very nice flip 400 dollars 13 dollars shipping love it the next we got another big bundle of 25 games these are all vintage atari games donkey kong pac-man freeway superman Combat, Star Master, Basin Programming, Atlantis. So total of 25 games. Not big money here, $30 with $14 shipping. But I'm glad to see this go because actually in the shop, Atari games, they kind of fell off. I could not move them anymore unless I put a really big bundle with the system. Uh, so I'm glad to see this go. That's a good, really good flip. Here's a pretty cool item, and uh, Andrew bought this. Andrew appreciated. He's a LP collector. This one sold for thirty dollars. 
very good condition motel Raphael system I don't know much about this band I don't know if it's a French these ladies are French or Canadian I'm not 100% sure but check out this vinyl such a cool uh, pressing look at this looks like a lollipop nice pink and I know the lighting is too harsh here there we go look at this beautiful this this thing is in mint condition not a scratch on it I don't believe this was even played in such a beautiful condition what a pressing huh so Andrew I hope you enjoy it you were asking me also if I have the LPs that I have in a store am I gonna be selling am I gonna be selling them uh, on eBay probably not maybe few and the reason for that most of the LPs that I have there are ranging between like three dollars to ten dollars and it's just not worth it for me to put it at this moment online I would rather sell that stuff in a shop when we reopen um, I usually try to put LPs on eBay 20 plus or maybe even $25 plus because it's just it just doesn't make sense if I can move them in a shop so um, but I'll definitely if I get any cool LPs again I'll definitely show them so if you want to pick out few from a video more than happy to ship them that way I did that before many times so I hope you enjoy this and it goes to your collection then we have uh, Laura Laura Mercer uh, flawless skin face polish and uh, um, Diane and Chris thank you so much for supporting the channel this is going out to you this one sold for 18 bucks and this is another viewer purchase this is a USB type C uh, powered mini dock station this is actually brand new sealed so this is for uh, type C connectors um, this one sold for 40 bucks Christian I think you can put it to the good use I really appreciate it thank you so much and uh, one more uh, viewer item here art art purchased this crazy wicked looking knife this is brand new never used still has a plastic on it big blade too look at that wicked blade <laughs> look at that craziness isn't that funky wow it's sharp too and let me put that back in here so thank you thank you so much art appreciate it hope you can uh we can have fun with that big boy so that one uh that one sold for 19 bucks with free shipping so thank you so much art appreciate it look at this this is interesting i'm surprised actually this sold this sold for 40 dollars with free shipping this is a backpack for uh, lifetime fitness hair club brand new still has the little straps and plastic on it kind of surprised that this would sell right now because all these lifetime fitness health clubs are, are closed all of them I think across the country all the health clubs are closed but hey I'll take it 40 bucks awesome flip and the last item that I will show I gotta grab the camera is this guy right here took a best offer on it originally I was asking $350 for this guitar and we agreed on $310 with $40 shipping this is a beautiful acoustic guitar by Epiphone in absolutely mint condition very nice guitar not a scratch on it honey of course you gotta smell it and a beautiful case to go with it too so actually I'm kind of out of boxes I gotta figure out what kind of box I'm gonna get I usually and this question popped before Pete what kind of boxes you use for shipping guitars and how do you pack guitars well I first of all I like to really ship them in the bags if I have a bag for them because it will protect the guitar a lot um, preferably even a hard case if I have one this one is a soft case but it's pretty stiff it will do a good job but I do get boxes for guitars from uh, from a guitar center you know the music store I just go uh, either ask if they don't have any in a dumpster or I just go behind open their dumpsters there's usually 15 20 30 boxes 
every single day. They are unloading guitars every single day and they throw the boxes away. You can pick and choose whatever box you want. Now if they don't have any, all I gotta do is walk in and ask, hey, you guys have an empty box, they always hand me a couple. So that's how I do it. Now the problem is now that I sold quite a few guitars lately and Guitar Center is closed. I can't get any boxes. There's nothing in their dumpsters. So I gotta, I'm gonna have to be a creative here and probably Frankenstein a box for this one. So. Oh, and here's the best part. I'm gonna be able to put these stickers for everybody. Yes. Can't wait to stick those in for everybody. And right, let's go. Uh, let's go check this out. So, a couple people have been asking about Harley stuff. Do I have any Harley stuff? So I pulled out uh, like three jackets. Maybe I should turn some lights on here. Turn that light on before I forget. Vicky says we should jingle the bell because we miss that sound. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's it. Hello, how you doing? <laughs> Come on in. Oh. Yeah, I miss that sound. I miss that sound. Yeah, so I pulled, I don't know if I showed these before. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Let's, uh, whoa. Let's lay them all out and see what we got here. So this is like a windbreaker. This is size a size large and I'm asking 75 bucks for it very nice jacket lots of pockets nice color scheme it says Harley Davidson on the back so this is size size large so this is something that would fit me then we got this guy this is size and Vicky actually told me to be careful on this one because it has a little tear right here on this side of the button and then a little tear on this side somebody must have ripped it quickly this is what size this is medium i don't see it oh, it's so hard to do this with one hand this is this is no size i gotta put this on let's put it on let's put it on I have a big sweatshirt on right now, but oh, there's another tag on the side here, which also doesn't say anything. That's interesting. There's no size on this damn thing. Huh. So definitely, I think this might be even ladies. Well, very, I mean, I barely fit in it. Hello, Vicky. What do you think this jacket is? Is this ladies? The one that you gave me that has that thing. It's got this nice embroidery here. I can barely fit it or you think it's man's small? I think it's man's. It's too straight. Yeah? The ladies would have a little waist. Well then it's super small if it's man's because I mean... Oh that is little. Want me to put it on? <laughs> I mean I can't even, you know... And but these you're are, large, right? Large or extra large, you know, yeah. depends on a. Here, put this on. Alright. Yeah, for you, obviously, it's a giant. Yeah, so it's, it has to be men's small. It has small. to be men's. Yeah, men's small for <laughs> sure. Okay, men's awesome. There's no tag on the inside, it doesn't say anything. That's why I was I was confused. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, there's nothing. Does the sided snap-on make a difference? I mean, I don't... I think that's men's small. Okay. Nothing? Inspector 7, it says. Yes. Uh, so what's the, what's the deal with this? Left buttons on the right? Well, my zipper here is on the left. So buttons on the right, I think, is men's when they clip in from this, because I, on shirts, I'm thinking shirts. Yeah. I don't know how it is with jackets. Obviously, probably zipper might be different. Well, it's probably the same. Look at her. Yeah, I know, Every, everything I lay out, she has to make a bed on. Okay, so yeah, I'm pretty sure it's men's small. Yeah, it's not styled for a woman. Yeah, and it's got this letter Harley badge on the bottom. And then I got this guy. I think I showed this one on a video before. And this one is large, I think. No, this one is medium. That's a big medium. 
Let's see. Nice. Yeah, this is definitely this this could be this could be large. Oh. I mean it's cute. I usually you know yeah. well it is kinda a little snug That's here. Nice. But I have this big thick right. you know sweatshirt underneath too. She's knock you, Kim. So yeah, and this one we're asking what are we asking on this one? Oh, anyway, I forgot to say the price on the other one. This one we are asking 100 bucks. It's got this weird looking kind of burgundy color. Like orange? A, yeah. More like an orange. Like a rust. Like rust. Almost like the same color that Harley uses on their logo. Okay, kitty. So this one, since it has that little rip. Originally, we were asking on it 65 bucks. How about 30 bucks if somebody wants it? You can easily, probably, if you know how to stitch, you can easily fix this up here. It's right, not honey? really a tear in the fabric. Comes, it's just pulled out. comes with uh, cat hair. <laughs> right, honey? And this one was how much I said on this one? I think 75 or something. Yeah, we can probably do like 65 bucks on this one. What else I got Harley here? Uh, let me walk around the mm. shop. I don't have much. I know I don't have a whole lot from Harley stuff. I know I got these books. They're five dollars a piece. These are five dollars a piece. These are ten dollars a piece. Harley Classics. Celebration of American Icon. Rolling Thunder. Oh, I know what I got in a second room in a display case. I got these models. Let's check those out. Let's check those out. I might have to pull them out because it will be kind of hard to see them through the glass. Yeah, I got some Harley here. So let me pull these out. All right, much better now. I got them all out. So I have this little guy and this is 1955 Buick Sentry. Look at all these orange colors. Now these are all new, sealed, never taken out, still attached with the plastic to the boxes on the inside. Then we have a Ford F1, uh, F1 pickup truck with the bike on the back. And the bike on the back is the 1948 uh, FL pen hat. That's pretty cool. Orange, black colors. Then we have this guy, 1947 Servi car, three-wheeler motorcycle. Pretty nice. And then one more uh, pickup truck. This is F350 Super Duty with 1936 EL knucklehead on a bed of the pickup truck there in the back. So yeah, that's I think that's all I have when it comes to Harley stuff. Yeah, but I don't think I, at the moment guys, I really don't think I have anything else from Harley. That's it. Obviously nothing has been coming in lately, so. Yeah, so if any of this uh, piques any interest to any of you guys, shoot me email, like always. There's a email in the description below the video. So if you are interested in any of this stuff, shoot me email. What are you listing today? Mm -hmm. Jacket. Oh, that Aussie jacket? Yeah. Fendi? Made in Bulgaria? Man, we had that jacket forever. <laughs> Somebody put that Aussie. I don't think that Aussie is original to it. Maybe it is. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Because you never know. You know, this came from Bulgaria. It definitely looks like it's been used and abused but i think that's just the design of this letter look. yeah that distressed look although this letter feels rough you know i don't know if it's letter yeah that's what i'm i don't know what it is it's weird it's almost like paper. but you know what when you look at the yeah the belts on it they're letter it's a weird looking jacket. Well, do we have any Aussie fans out there? It's got this logo on the side. 
Fendi. That's how you say it? Fendi or? Teddy. Teddy? TH. Oh, you don't like TH. I forgot. I don't like, I don't like what? You don't like TH. Tha. Tha. No, not ta. Tha. 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 That's funny. You, you don't Tha. Have, you did it. Tha. Ooh. Mm. Mm. How, how, how you roll, roll that tongue? Tha. 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 There you did it. Tha. That was <laughs> That's good. funny. <laughs> oh my gosh. I always thought it was fa- no, Why did I thought it was you Fendi? you don't like TH, it bothers you. No, but that doesn't- I, I would say Fendi. This Why did I think of Fendi? That would be an F. Yeah. Plus Fendi. N. N would be in there too. I'm saying <laughs> you Fendi. You everything. I messed up totally. <laughs> Who- what- you know, is the, what brand is this? I mean, is That's this- That's the brand. I know, but is it from Romania? It can be from Bul Bulgaria. Bulgaria, is it? It says Bulgaria. I know, but that doesn't mean anything. I found some other Fendi, but... That might be just made there. You know what I mean? $99, Vicky says, $99. Okay, we'll see what happens. How long we had, the, do you have the original sticker? How long we had this in a shop here? Since, uh, there was July of 19. July of what? 19. 19. 2019? Yeah. Okay, so well, almost a year. we in a weird spot. Well, but it's a big time conversation piece. I've seen many people stopping by and looking at yeah. that one and trying it on, but... Did they actually try it on? Yeah, I seen people trying it oh, on. Yeah, one big guy, he was, yeah. Yeah, that he big guy he really wanted, he couldn't yeah. fit in it. Yeah, so. So, yeah. eBay will reach the right size. There you go. Yeah. Somebody will buy it on eBay. That's why I love eBay, because, you know, weird stuff like this sells. Honey, I need to hang this jacket. Would you mind? Come on. She's like, no, I, I like this, nice and soft. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on. Come on. Look at you. Come on, get up. Yeah. 